That's why I like doing this, telling jokes, breaking that tension. Although I'll, I'll admit it, I, use, I do sometimes miss having a day job because day jobs you could slack off. You can't slack off at stand up. I don't care how drunk you guys get. You see me sleeping under the chair, you'll notice. <laughs> It's true. I'm not even good at working. I'm not. I've actually been fired from eight jobs. Yeah, eight. I'm a terrible employee, but I'm great at interviews. <laughs> like, I've been fired so much, I get offended when people tell me they quit. I'm like, stop bragging. I stay at my job until they want me to leave because that's polite. <laughs> Because getting fired is such a demeaning experience. Anyone with compassion would just say, we don't want you here anymore. That's all you have to say. But instead they say aggressive things like, you're sacked, you're canned, you're fired. One time I worked at McDonald's, they told me I was terminated. I was like, who the hell do you think I am? I make McGriddles, Doug, it's not that serious. I know. I know. I actually had one woman tell me that her boss told her she was liquidated. I'm like, you're not even a solid? How can he do that? Must have a ray gun. So I don't know. Has anyone been fired here before? Has anyone had that luxury? <laughs> oh, so you're all perfect. That's very nice. Universally, this whole audience is like, no, none of us have been fired, only you. <laughs> you got fired for the rest of us eight times. God, I know. My worst fire, I once worked at a gas station. I got fired because I put diesel into a regular engine car. <laughs> yeah, I know. You know what that does? That destroys an engine. I didn't even know I could do that for minimum wage. <laughs> But the woman on the car knew she came out like, you moron, you just destroyed my vehicle. I was like, I make $6.50 an hour, all right? That's at least an $8 an hour responsibility. Yeah. And 10 minutes later, I saw our car get towed away. I was like, holy crap, I should really ask for a raise. I should get paid more not to do that. So you know what my boss made me do? My boss made me drive the woman home. Ah, oh, what a five-star experience that is. <laughs> Destroying someone's vehicle and driving 20 minutes to their place while they yell at you the whole time. <laughs> oh, chef recommend. <laughs> By the time I got her to her place, she opened up my door and slammed it shut. I was so pissed off, I looked at her, I was like, lady. And that's how I... Uh, that is ridiculous.